So recently I got the iFlight A85 HD Whoop. I wanted something to fly in the garden or like indoors when it's bad weather because I can't fly my uh, 6 inch Nazgul like in my garden. Um, but yeah, it's a really fun thing. Uh, I had it for a few weeks now. I have flown it quite a few times. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna review the specs, how it flies, do some flying at the end of the video. Um, yeah, and go over some stuff. It's a really nice drone. So to go over the specs, um, you know, it's pretty straightforward. It has a Cadex Vista unit. Uh, it has the uh, Polar camera, the Cadex Vista Polar camera, uh, the nano version. So it's a smaller one. It has a smaller lens, but I mean, the video quality is still pretty good. Yeah. Um, and then it also comes with a all-in-one uh, ESC flight controller, a four board. Um, it has the Xing 5000KV1303 motors. Um, you know, when you go full throttle, it makes quite a bit of noise, but it's kind of all right. So I got this drone. Uh, with a couple extras. Um, let me show you. Um, so basically I got an extra uh, frame. You know, for if I crash this thing and something might break or then I can replace it. But I, I think it's quite difficult to break this frame. Um, you know, you have to fly really hard into something, uh, you know, unlike a wall or something, but still, I think it would be fine. Then you have the um, the canopy, you know, also an extra part because why not? Uh, then I also got like a bunch of extra props, which I think is unnecessary because you know it's they are pro protected by a duct, uh, so breaking those props is kind of impossible. But yeah, just in case. And then. I also got this thing. I wasn't sure at first what this exactly was for because, you know, I've never seen people um, get this part with the drone. But apparently, you can. Uh, let me show you. It's, it's basically like a small, thin carbon um, frame part. I thought it was from another drone and that iFlight made a mistake by shipping it with this drone. But you basically can bolt this on like this so yeah it, m it matches with the motor screws and i guess the thinking behind this is to give it some extra strength and you know it weighs like basically nothing so i haven't put it on yet i might in, in the future but i really don't see the point of it yet so yeah um, you get this extra with some screws And then, yeah, you get some, you know, some extra screws, a battery pad, and then like a small and um, 90 degree uh, USB, a mini USB adapter. I'm not sure why they give it, because you can basically just uh, plug in on a cable and then it will be fine. I think it, the thinking is that if you have a 90 degree uh, adapter that you can set your drone like this, like level, and level out your drone if you flash the uh, beta flight firm firmware. And when, and when it ships, you there's already a battery strap on it, but it's oriented like the other way, like this. So your battery would be like this, like in length. Um, but I've noticed that isn't really quite nice because with the battery lead it's just flopping around and the um, balance lead will also be like on the side and I've noticed it's uh, not so nice for flying so what I did is just uh, turn the battery strap around so it's basically in the length of the drone like this so not on the width um, and I can show you so basically when you strap it in like this so all the wires will be behind the drone 
um, you can basically plug it in like this and you don't have to worry of getting any cables and the props so yeah it's i think this is the best way to um to mount your battery on this drone that's what i've noticed at least yeah so they claim this drone weighs around 85 grams um so yeah let's let's test that Okay, so right now it's weighing in at a 87 grams, but I guess that's with the rubber battery pad and the LiPo strap. That adds a little bit of weight. And I also got this drone with the full sand LiPos, because apparently these are the lightest ones you can get. And they're basically made for whoops like this. So I just got them with, with this drone, uh, because saving on weight makes the flight char characteristics a little bit better. These should weigh in at like, uh, 50, at like 50 grams. Okay, so yeah, that's yeah, it's pretty close. So in total, you get like a drone that weighs around 140 grams, which for a Whoop is actually quite heavy, but you have to keep in mind it has the Cadex uh, Vista unit and, and stuff and it actually packs a lot of power. You know, it's uh, it's not like uh, a 1S drone or something. It, uh, it's, it's still a 4S drone. Yeah, so those are the technical side of things. I mean, not really technical, it's just an overview. Um, regarding build quality, I have uh, some remarks, but... Um, I think it's pretty well made. Um, you know, the mo motor wires are a little bit, you know, yeah, they, I think they could have done a better job to maybe duct these, but I guess if you want to save on weight, you know, we have to compromise something. Um, but yeah, these cables should be fine. Yeah. And overall it's pretty nice. It's uh, a really nice drone. It's, it's pretty solid. Um, yeah, I crashed it a few times. Uh, the only problem is when you crash it in grass or like a bush, you, you get like all the uh, grass and debris like right into your stack, which is, eh, yeah, it's it's not so nice. You, know, you, you just have to be a little bit careful uh, with like wet grass so we don't short something out. But it should be fine. It's, uh, yeah, just something to look out for. So... Let's go fly this thing uh, and have some fun. <laughs> 